media is a way that people express themselves, like through TV or pictures and things like that. So it's just important to get the word out for people so everybody can see and not just yourself. I think that gay men are portrayed very one-dimensional in the media, maybe what we would call a very stereotypical representation. I think some stereotypes in the media about gay people, one that comes to mind for me is that um, our gayness is central and defining about how we relate to the world. His name was Helm. But what's this? It appears our girls are secretly being monitored. But by who? Oh no, not... <gasps> I, I, I can't say it! This is a villain so evil, so sinister, so horribly vile, that even the utterance of his name strikes fear into the hearts of men. The only safe way to refer to this king of darkness is simply... him. So he was a red lobster with claws and he had on like like heels and that touched his knees and he had on a tutu like a little a little tutu and his hair was like slicked up and it had a little curl and he had a mustache and then first his voice would be like really really high and then when he gets angry, it just gets like a whole bunch of bass and think, yeah. What a positively evil scheme you've hatched, and I'll finally be rid of those girls I think it's important to have good representation instead of false information, stereotypes, or things that make us look bad. You know, how often do you turn on a sitcom and you see a gay man who's acting masculine with a beard playing sports, right? We don't see that a lot on television. We'll see a gay man acting more feminine, um, maybe more promiscuous. I think that's another stereotype in the media, especially with gay men. Or the same thing with a lesbian. You, you don't often see a lesbian with long hair and wearing a dress going shopping. You'll see kind of the stereotypical version, short hair, Flannel shirt. All of the media companies, Fox 32, 26, 66, 44, even the Spanish ones, they're all owned by like companies, like privatized com companies. So like folks that own like General Electric, like the people that own the refrigerators, the same people that own the channels, the same people that own everything else. So it's kind of like a mega conglomerate of like corporations. Um, if I tried to represent a character or write a short story or write a TV show about somebody whose life I was interested in because it seemed so different from mine, but I'd never actually lived that life or, um, or known a person well like the person I was trying to imagine. I'm sure I would have a fairly flat, somewhat limited view of who I would put together. From the moment I saw you, I went out of my mind, though I never believed in love at first sight. And, and I think that the people that own the companies, it's like very white, it's very hetero, and it's very male. And that's the exact same story and the exact same narrative that we get on mainstream media. So I guess if they find more people who's willing to be out there and express, express themselves, then that's where the story should come from. Well, that's why we don't get diversity. Like we don't get representation. We don't get true stories told. I just think, the more diversity and the more broad perspectives we have, the easier it is for young people to find someone out there that they identify with to help them kind of figure out their own business. These stories should come from people who actually live the lifestyle of, of, of a gay, well, who live the lifestyle of a gay person because, you know, it's not, it's not too many of us out there that can just be like, admit that, hey, I'm, I'm gay. I guess just trying to shed some of those stereotypes. You know, as a person who identifies as a lesbian, I have met a lot of individuals who identify as LGBT throughout my life. And 
I think people who don't have a lot of LGBT friends might make assumptions about how those individuals dress and act and present themselves. I think having positive LGBTQ representation is important for people to be able to not only see themselves, but for people who maybe aren't LGBTQ to see what it's like for those people. If I'm a, a girl who feels feminine and I see these lesbians on TV, but I don't act like that and I don't feel that way, like how does that make me feel, right? They should script people, get actors and actresses that actually identify as queer to play queer parts in Modern Family, in um, even like Orange is the New Black could have found some people who like, you know, like, yeah, this is their identity off camera and it's their identity on camera. People to understand that there are struggles that they can identify with, but they can be in allyship or be comrades for um, and help on a larger political scale. But I have met such a huge diversity of people who identify with different genders and sexual orientations that I, I don't feel like there's a broad enough spectrum out there. And then I think just like do more of that and then multiply that. Like get out there and find people that don't look like your narrative now to tell their stories and let them tell their stories and then feature that and show that. If I was a filmmaker, I would have a more, better understanding of how gay people or black people act. What's your question? How you came out to your parents? To the extent you're asking, are there enough? I don't even know what enough would mean. I know that people are trying to get more gay characters out there. Some people are trying to break the stereotypes. He just came out. I think if we look at some of the role models for young people, um, nowadays we'll see transgender role models, right? So people who don't conform to the standard male or female gender identity. I think it's a lot more fluid than it was in the past, um, just in terms of how people celebrities feel comfortable representing themselves. It seems like celebrities are a little more open about their status being lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender. Celebrities, I don't think that celebrities really go through as much as people in real life go through being a part of the LGBTQ community. I would love to see more people who identify as lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, um, being willing to open up dialogue about it and talk about it and talk about some of the struggles they've been through. I think that would really help some people who are growing up today kind of learn about themselves and figure out their own identities if they had better, stronger, more confident role models out there. So many of us are just struggling to survive and I've been there. Um, and that's why you're so good at what you do. Because it's life experience. Yeah. If we get some more gay directors or filmmakers, we will have a better understanding, a better representation of LGBTQ individuals.